If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering which tablet you should get for Osu. Well, look no further because this right here is going to be the only tablet that you will ever need. Hello and welcome to another tablet review. This is the Wacom 1, or better known as a CTL 472. This was first introduced back in 2019 and is considered to be a budget friendly and entry level tablet for beginners that can handle digital creativity work. In this video, I'll go through everything you need to know about this tablet and you can see why it continues to dominate the rest of the competition, including the CTH 480. Remember that you can refer to the time codes in the description so that you can keep track of each segment that we'll be focusing on. I'm going to start off with the unboxing and unfortunately I can't give you guys a full experience here as I've owned this tablet for several years now, but I still have all the inclusions that are provided. The main components are the tablet, the pen, a micro USB cable, and extra accessories. Also a side note here, I'm using a tablet cover that was gifted to me. It's basically just this attachment that changes the friction of how the pen would glide across the surface and it also adds this layer protection kind of similar to how you would put a screen protector on your electronic devices. The tablet's design is as simple as it comes. It's a rectangular shape with the dimensions being 210 by 146 by 8.7 millimeters, while the active area is a bit smaller at 152 by 95 millimeters. The weight sits at 250 grams, which roughly translates to one pound. And if you turn the tablet over, you would have these four rubber stops at the bottom to keep the tablet from sliding around. But the results is gonna vary depending on what is rested on. The pen stats you can just read on screen. The only thing you should take from this is that it's cordless and it doesn't need to be charged since it uses a technology known as EMR. The resolution is 2540 LPI. Pen resolution is basically how many lines are displayed in an inch or 2.5 centimeters. The higher the LPI, the more lines that are available. In this case, you can fit 5,080 lines in an inch. The higher the resolution, the higher the quality. So on a general basis, the maximum amount of LPI you would need is 1,000, which this pen provides you 2.5 times that amount. The tablet is compatible with your standard operating system. It can also function in other various ways that I'll put on screen for your reference. For the drivers, we'll be using Open Tablet Driver. However, you can use other drivers like Haku or the Wacom drivers itself. I'll leave a link down below for all three, but just for the purpose of this video, we're only going to be demonstrating Open Tablet Driver. When it comes to my tablet settings, I'm using Full Area, which translates to the same aspect ratio that fills my entire main monitor. For the rest of the modifications, I will leave everything unchecked just so that I can receive the raw performance of the tablet. Playing on a tablet might take getting used to if it's your first time, or if you're making a transition from another tablet. I've used many tablets before from brands like Huion, Vake, Gaumon, as well as other lineups from Wacom. And from my experience, this tablet outshines everything I've used before, especially when it comes to like comfort, adaption, performance, pricing, and just overall functionality.
Yo, let's go. First try. Hell yeah. So a lot of you may already know how popular the CTH480 tablet is, and you may also know how difficult and expensive it is to obtain one. That is where the CTL472 comes in. It's basically the same tablet, but a lot better. Not only that, but it's pretty much available everywhere, and you can get one for as cheap as $20 used, or just $40 retail for a brand new one. Alright guys, that will conclude my review of the Wacom 1 CTL472 tablet. There's not really much else to say since I covered almost everything you need to know about this tablet. So yeah, I'll just have to give it to this tablet for being top of the line for Osu. If there's anything else I failed to mention, or if you have any feedback that you want to give, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you as always for watching the content and supporting the channel. I wish you guys the best of luck on your tablet journey, and until we meet again, I'll see you around.